I'm filming. <laughs> so this is like one of the things that I do before I make a video for a brand, for example. So I got these super absorbent daily clean towels from a brand and then they sent, cause they're trying to promote this one, which is for like acne or whatever. This is like the one that went viral before, which this is the first time I'm seeing these ever in my life. Um, but I'm doing a comparison. I know you guys don't care, but the point is, is I'm debriefing myself and I'm getting ready to do it. Um, so I'm just going over the key points and I'm doing a get unready with me video for all my haters. <laughs> all right, I'll be back and we'll talk. Actually, I should have done the talking while my makeup's on because it's gonna be off here in a minute. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that quick. Okay. So I actually worked my first Wednesday night in a long time. I'm usually like days now, which I'm loving. My son is varsity football this year, so I will not be working Friday nights like at all. I'm so big on like watching him. I'm super excited about it. I cannot wait. And I'm kind of getting used to the day shifts, but actually another place is trying to steal me from where I work or maybe be an add on, but I'm not sure I want to work that much or need to, but money, right? Like we always need more. Okay. That being said, I have the most exciting trip coming up in like 10 days, nine days. I am going to Louisville, Tennessee. I love Tennessee. Um, and I'm going to be hosting a music festival with uh, DJ Paul of 36 Mafia. Project Pat was just dropped to be there. Ah, and many, many, many other artists. Um, part of the proceeds will go to St. Jude's. It's a big fucking deal. And I, your girl, is one of the hosts. So I'm really excited about that. I'm nervous because it's like the first time I've ever put on an event like that before. Put on whatever. Obviously... I'm not putting it up, but you know, I used to be like the, the Ryan Seacrest, if you will. So I'm hoping I don't trip and fall or say something dumb, but like, I'm sure it'll be fine. And I am bringing someone with me. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be really, 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 really fun. Just like a quick weekend thing, but I'm very much looking forward to that. So that's something that's exciting. I've been working like crazy, obviously. And... It's Hayden's 18th birthday this month, which is insane. Like how, how is that possible? He wants to get a tattoo. We were supposed to get it like a couple months ago, but like the person that I was like working with, it fell through. And then I was just like, you're really unreliable. And I just, we'll just wait. So that being said, this is the not gonna sound so fucking dumb, but I have like this mental block. I talk about this all the time, like where I can't do things like at all with like making appointments, like doctor's appointments. Like even if I make the appointment, will I go? Who knows? But I finally have internet. Like I finally fucking have internet, which is crazy. And it's only taken three months, which is insane. Like how did I do it before? And where I live, there is no internet. Like there's one bar with like hotspot. It's fucking like crazy out here. So we now have full bars. We're doing the damn thing. I'm so happy about that. Now the next thing is for me to get, I'm gonna get a desktop, I think. Like I'm gonna buy a desktop, like we're moving up in the world. I'm very excited. I also had tonsillitis this week. I fucking woke up and thought I was gonna fucking die. And I just had strep throat like two months ago. Like why do these things happen to me? Why? All the time, it's fucking middle of summer. I'm getting ready to embark on this trip. I go to the ER and they're like, yeah, your tonsillitis. And I was just in the ER two weeks ago because I was so fucking nauseous, you guys. So fucking nauseous for days. And I was like scared about it. To be honest with you, I kind of thought it was like drinking related. And I detoxed myself and I had no symptoms, nothing. Like, And I, and I actually feel like I should have because I feel like I drink a lot. Um, or I, you know, I've been cutting back quite a bit and, and like doing like micro detoxes, if you will, just to see, because I don't want to be dependent on anything. And I have been prescribed like every painkiller on top of benzo, on top of sleeping pill, even all at the same time before and never got addicted to anything. Like my self-control is just like crazy. 
I I'm super disciplined so but it's easy to fall down the rabbit hole of, well, I'm bored or I'm depressed or like whatever, just having fun or whatever. And yeah, turns out everyone I work at it too. I just was the first one. So it wasn't that, although it kind of set up a red flag for me that if I'm thinking about it like that, then maybe it is a problem or, you know, <coughs> excuse me, more water. Um, I've been kind of on and off like this health journey, like, like everyone else on the fucking planet, but I've been going to the gym like crazy. I've been going for about a month now, pretty consistently. I took a week off while I was like sick. I did go yesterday. I didn't go today because I had a bunch of filming to do and a bunch of fucking stupid errands like going to the fucking social security office. Like I'm on my shit though. Like I'm proud of myself because God damn. Um, but my best friend is doing this like car carnivore diet where she just eats meat and she's looking fucking great. She has stopped drinking. She's like on her shit, feeling good. She said her brain fog is gone. So today I drank a bunch of water. I had three, no, I had two chicken breasts with like no sauce or anything. And then I did go to Fresh Blends and get myself a protein smoothie. The I Love Vegetables one because girl, I fucking love vegetables. Um, with extra collagen and like whatever, but she said something to me that really like, like, I don't know, a light bulb went off. She was like, you know how cows are fat and they fucking eat grass. Lions are like, you know, muscular and like thick and like curvy and they just eat meat. And I was like, you know, it's like, it's true. It's like, I know there are several vegetarians that are in shape, whatever I know there are. I personally, I haven't seen any, but there are a lot of obese vegetarians. And so when she made that comparison of the cow and the lion, I was like, are you onto something? So I'm starting to do it because she just like swears and swears and swears by it. I'm sure every once in a while I'll throw an onion in there because you know I'm obsessed. I'm not as obsessed with jalapenos lately, which is insane. Insane. My neighbors are always about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see what I can do. But I'm hoping to get up early. I open tomorrow. I'm hoping to work out. I've been taking London with me. We're working on like teaching her about health and fitness and all the things. And yeah, I cannot believe it's July, mid of July already. It's insane. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on my trip. I'm going to vlog the whole thing and it's going to be super, super fun. I'm very excited about it. Nervous, excited, all the things. I'm sicker with tonsillitis than I was strep. Like it's in my fucking ears, bitch. It's horrible. So yeah, I just want to like come in and do like a quick teeny tiny check-in and now I'm going to do this fucking video.